Oh, come, oh, come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel. Ah! Oh, oh, hi, Gus. Come on. Come on up here, boy. Oh, hi. hi, Gus. How are you? I am great. How are you? I'm great. This is cool. Isn't this awesome? It's oh. called a sukkah. A sukkah? Yeah, it's a little tent. Isn't oh. it awesome? And I decorated it for fall. I put some leaves up there and some lights yeah. to make it cozy. Yeah. Uh, it, can, can we can we stay in it? Sure. Yeah, we get to stay in here. We can stay as much as we want. Cool. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. We can 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 you read me a story later? Sure, we can read. We can read stories. We can pray. Ooh. We can talk about Yeshua and and we can eat food. Yum. Yeah, amen. Oh, we love food. Maybe we can have some friends over, too. Oh, yeah, that's what it's all about. Is it really? Yeah, it's about dwelling together, everyone gathering together and, and celebrating the Lord. Oh, yeah. I love it. Yeah, and, and you know what we're celebrating? No. The Feast of Tabernacles. Tabernacles? Yeah, it means dwelling. Wow. Temporary so dwelling. It represents the Israelites in the desert, Gus. Remember when, when they left Egypt and they were wandering around in the wilderness? They had tents. They had little tents, little sukkahs, little temporary dwellings that they would live in and sleep in at night. And God was with them. God was with them because he was in the tabernacle. Oh. Yeah. Remember, they had the Ark of the Covenant and they would travel and God was with them. Didn't they even say he came into the tabernacle? Yes, he did. He dwelt among them. Oh, yeah, that is so cool. Yeah. And guess who else dwells with us today? Who? Yeshua. Right. Yeah, because the Bible said it said in in Isaiah seven it said this will be a sign that a virgin will conceive and bring forth a son and his name will be Emmanuel, God with us. And that's Yeshua. Yeshua is with us. Remember, he he was born. In yeah. the little stable in Bethlehem, long, long time ago. Well, that was God with us, Gus. Oh, yeah. That's when he became a person with skin yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, he was yep, still God's yep. son. In John chapter 1, it says, the word became flesh. I mean skin. Yeah, he became, yeah, he got skin. And, and he lived among us. Yeah, he, oh. yeah. And then he grew up and he died on the cross to save us from our sin. Right. But he didn't stay dead, Gus. Nope. Nope. He, he was put in the tomb, and three days later, he came back alive. Woo! Woo! Hallelujah! And then when Yeshua went up into heaven, yeah. he sent the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so when we ask Yeshua into oh, our heart, oh, oh, oh. what? Guess what? What? I know what you were going to say. What? Well, when, when you ask Yeshua in your heart, the Holy Spirit lives in you. That's right. He dwells Amen. in you. Amen. Gus, you got it. Oh. That's right. Oh. Woo! Praise the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. This is an exciting time, boys oh, and girls. I'm excited. The Feast of Tabernacles. Hey, and if you guys can't build a cool little tent like this, you can make one with bed sheets and blankets. You can make them like, you know how you make little forts? Yeah. yeah. And play in them yep. and, and read in them. That's right. And moms and dads, you can join your little boys and girls in there too and yeah, tabernacle have to with be the fancy. Lord. No. No, it's just to remember that God is with us. God is with us. And he loves us. Let's praise the Lord, Gus. Yes. One, One two, three. three. Praise the Lord. Woo! Hi, boys and girls. We are so glad to spend this day with you. And mm -hmm. I was thinking about tabernacles and all of these things. And I was thinking the most important thing with any of the feast or any of the things that we do together is that we make memories. That's right. Yep, that's what's important. Make memories. Yep. And and think about the Lord, but make a memory with it. And I was remembering, do you remember that one year? The weather was horrible. Oh, yeah, it like rained all week. Rain and windy and yep. cold. <laughs> and there was no way to make a sukkah and outside. Mm -hmm. And we're like, but we want to make one. Yeah. And so we grabbed the... Um, the hoopah. the hoopah from Andrew and Sarah's wedding. Yeah. Yeah. And we put it inside. We set it up in the living room. And and we put a little <laughs> table underneath. Yeah. And and then it just just the Holy Spirit impressed upon me. Yeah. And I put treats. I just surprised I the kids. That. And 
and I had a little Bible verse, a little card tent, and I just said, taste and see that the Lord is good. Mm. And, they, and they're like, can we eat them during the day? Which was not a normal thing to have a treat in the day. Right. And so they could, but the only thing that I said is that you have to sit and enjoy it under in, the hoopah. Oh, in, inside the sukkah. Uh-huh. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, and every day I did different things. I even did hamantashen. I know that's for form, but... It was like it was a favorite snack, so I did it with, I think, apple butter well, or something. There's no rule that says you can't have hamantaschen at Tabernacles, right? <laughs> no, because we were still remembering that God is with us. God was with Esther. That's right. God is That's with His important. people. Yeah. And it's just wonderful yeah. memories. Plus, eating under there, playing games. We did all kinds of things, mm -hmm. but it was a great memory, so and we still think about that. So even year. If, it, if you can't make a sukkah outside or you know it, it's difficult i mean it takes it takes an effort to do it but you can do anything and like like bj and gus mentioned about just making like a little fort taking blankets and sheets yeah and just you know just it's just to celebrate and remember that the lord dwells with us just like it said in first john 14 right. the word became flesh and dwelt among us that's yeshua and if you want yeshua to dwell with you all you have to do is ask him. We just pray. Yeah. So he is here. He's with us. He God, is here. Yeshua is God with us. That's and, right. And we just have to trust in him and believe him. Amen. And it's just like, I'm expecting mighty things this year. Mm -hmm. I know we just celebrated the Jewish <laughs> New Year a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. But I'm anticipating that there is going to be something cool happening. Amen. And God's going to be making a lot of memories yeah. with his people Amen. and showing us his glory. Great and Lord, so, that. Yeah. yeah, so I'm excited to hear your stories. I'm excited mm -hmm. to hear, take pictures and share them with yeah. us of your sukkahs and what you did. And we'd <laughs> love to, love to hear it. Okay, well, let's pray. Yes. Dear Yeshua, we thank you and we praise you, Lord. For this Feast of Tabernacles, we thank you, Yeshua, that you came mm. and dwelt among us. We thank you, Yeshua, that you still dwell with us, Lord. Your word says that you never leave us or forsake us. We thank you that you are always here. We can trust in you. We can call on your name, and you are with us. Thank you, Yeshua. And Lord, I pray that you bless all the boys and girls and the moms and dads, all the families all of the community at El Shaddai. Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit in this season. Lord, we do ask and we anticipate what you have for us. Just as Miss Cheryl said, Lord, we're expecting great things and we're gonna watch for your hand. We give you all the glory and honor and praise in your name, amen. Amen. God bless you boys and girls and families. We love you. We love you.